What's up guys, it's Polip here and welcome to a game called Orwell. Um, I've just booted it up, I'm not sure what it's really about. But I saw it on Steam and it looked pretty cool. So, let's get into it. Uh, yep. You've been selected for the Orwell test phase. Select a profile picture. Okay, um... That kind of looks like me. Not right now, but... Enter your name. Um... Let's go. Oh. Oh, lip. Next step. I am under... No, I'm not. I'm slightly worried about this now. This is a, oh, I like the art style. So it's 2017, 748, no records found. Are we cameras? Oh, is that the bad guy or bad woman? It looks like an onion ring. Oh shit. Uh, the clocks were striking 13. It's like that, um, that book. I think this might be based on the book. Uh, oh, fuck. I can't remember, but it, it has. The clocks can go to 13. Anyway, uh, you're online. Good. Call me Simez, Simez, I don't know, I'll be your advisor on Orwell, together we will form both the first and the last line of defence against terrorism, good, I don't think I'm really equipped for that, but, uh, for this test phase you're one of the first people to, I think there's a moth, uh, you're the first people to try out all the system under real circumstances, select for thousands of applications across the globe. Cool. I've, uh, I've activated the reader tool for you. Oh. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents easy access and the highlight when there is new information. First I want you to be uh, first I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Um, Bompton Feel free to browse the national board. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Cool. So, explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five civilly injured. Authorities receive strange letter. And negotiations in Trifilth failed. Trifilth. Uh, okay, cool. And, uh, feel free to. Okay. The profile holds all known information on those who are investigated. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. 
So I think you're supposed to find out who did the terrorist attacks. Uh, the blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at her arrest record. Uh, okay, we don't have any information. Physique. Yeah. Wait, what? Adapt all data from the police record. So this is the police database. The highlighted elements in the records are pieces of data that are able <laughs> we are able to extract from data chunks. However, other uh, other data chunks will reveal their relevance in the case and any connections or informants it may influence. Uh, drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into the profile to upload them to our server. Cool. So, she was bought up oh. as her arrest date, not her birth date. I was about to say, she's one years old? I mean, fair enough. Junk. Um... I think that's all we can drag in. Uh, suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. Uh, the protesters at the origin of the uh, uh, origin of the assault were forcibly moved when the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Okay. Profile update. Sandra Watergate. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for all to identify a person. Information in documents um, can only become a data chunk when it's clearly when it has clearly been assigned to a target person. Uh, add the reason for Missy Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this information for progress. Cool. I like this. It's a cool concept. Um, good. With the data you've extracted from the police record, a new document can now be uh, accidentally clicked off. Uh. <sighs> now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidences? I mean, it depends what coincidence it is. I mean, you show up to a party wearing the same shirt as another guy? That's a coincidence. Um taking a shit and a guy comes in and also takes a shit that's the coincidence uh, this probably isn't a coincidence I do not find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean no oh, I do not um,
Where did she attack him? Privacy rested. Okay. Well, uh, what am I supposed? to do that oh. um f okay find information on Cassandra's Cassandra's previous arrest uh. oh. is this woman a terrorist a woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody trial The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. And that's where the terrorist attack happened at the Freedom Plaza. Uh, the exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there before the explosion, surely not a coincidence. Probably not. As you know, Missy Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Me too. Um, she's an artist by profession. Nice, nice. Uh, oh yes. One who does street art by blowing up memorials to pieces by any chance. I mean, you could just paint a picture. Great, you have found another document. Before we get on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? Uh, you have extracted all the info I already know about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. Uh, the Orwell Ethical Codex dictates uh, that in investigators like yourself are only ones are the only ones allowed to access the documents of a targeted person. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigator. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give any away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to or well. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay, so I think we're just supposed to find more information about her. Uh, Cassandra's port. Uh, oh, so this is like her blog? Hi, I'm Casey, a colourful inhabitant of the Wonderland right behind the rainbow. We, I think we don't need that. Uh, She quit her day job forcing my yeah, I don't think we need that. Probably need this. I'm not gonna be reading everything. But I I'll, I'll be reading the main bits. So good, you found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversations on the account. The listener has now been unlocked. Cool. No communication record. Um, just quit my dog focus on the outcry. Okay, this, I'm a colourful inhabitant in Wonderland and I'll be on the rainbow. Uh, I, I don't think we need that. 
Okay, uh, quit previous job. Uh, so you're under the impression that a wonderful Miss Miski is really living in Wonderland. Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You, you have got to be more careful next time around. Okay. Um... That's a great picture. Uh, is this one a terrorist? Uh, possibly, I'm not sure, but it is our job to find out. So she's not a police officer, okay. Listener, there's no communications. Supposed to do anything? No communication recorded. Um, what are uh, the kind of media public guessing? Alright, we've already got that. Due to the code in HP, I'm not being able to connect the crime. Okay. Um, To this okay uh, I don't really know where to go from here because there's nothing to listen to you tell Okay, uh, can we, can we go on you tell? Um, yeah. read more. No, I know I don't want to read about this shit movie. Be able to hear something. Okay, uh, so we're supposed to find information on her previous job, find information on social. So this whole thing, just don't click on it. Um, fuck off. Uh, is there more? Aha! Uh -huh. My beloved furball, uh, we don't really care. Businessman's forgotten daughter. Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. A Christmas present for my darling. So she's in a relationship. Cool. And no one gives a shit about her cats. Okay. 
that's her account. Daughter of an entrepreneur. That's not how you say it, but oh, 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 oh. Hey, you. Hey, Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me Sherlock. Oh, you got me Sherlock. Is she gonna stop typing? Because that's the worst crime. Uh, that premium platinum card. So, she, they're rich. Well, luckily, if we, she saw a credit card from an unknown person. If you're able to find out who she was talking about, we could lock it to the owner. Luckily for you, I don't mind going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney, what? Oh, so he's her attorney, okay, probably just a business. Wait, she stole a credit card from her lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No. Really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. Uh, you now have a profile for a related person. Cool. Alright. Uh, big... F big farmer, aka my parent, then. Text you later. Okay. Watergate farmer, entrepreneur. There's so much stuff going on in this game. Um, all worlds that informs me you've just encountered conflict data chunks. Whenever the conflict of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context. Yeah, okay, cool. Stop talking. Uh, it's, with the case being the criminal case closed due to lack of evidence. Huh. So... Lack of evidence. I think wealthy family. Oh no, this is a severe accusation. Based on this, we could take action against her parents if we had their names. Um, well, we don't. So, we are fact. Products. Cool, a bunch of drugs, helpful. Company, uh, Bruno, hello. And Dr. Alice, Juno COO. So this is her sister? Appointed to be COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a genius here. Oh, so, oh, this is her. She just has different hair. Okay. We are originally looking for chief owner to replace the retirement formally appointed. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Currently I'm thinking that our Missy Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? Okay, but I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it's a bit difficult at times and there's a lot of information. But uh, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.